Super Mario Brothers for the DS. I'm Cow's Crazy. This is part five. I've already recorded part five, but it completely failed because I didn't record. Apparently, my computer saved none of the video recording at all. So I went through this world and I struggled gigantically. And I did open up this world here at 2 and A. But all I got done was getting all the coins here. And I went into 2 and A for a little bit, and I died there a bunch. But maybe now that I'm going to redo them so you can see what I did, I'll be better at it, and we can get more done than one level. Which is what I did in the last episode for like 17 minutes. Quote for 17 minutes, and I have my cursor on the screen. God damn it. Move that. Cursor, get off the screen. Okay, so I'm back yet again. Today is not a good day for my recording. My recording is going batshit freaking crazy right now. So anyways, now that I know what I'm doing in this world, hopefully, I'll be able to do it better. Now, I've already got all the coins, but I'll show you how I got all the coins. Coin number one was up here. Boom. And then, I came around here. Watch out for the bat. Don't go down here, it's just, it, unless you want some coins. It's like a coin block, and those are two coin blocks. Completely ignore those, and just carry on. Here's the secret of the second coin. So you want to kind of go like this, take it out. If you don't have a fire flower, you're going to have to f think of a different way around here, obviously. So then you fall down here, keep the door open, jump up, jump up, door down, collect your coin. Go around, and we can leave. Coin two. That took me longer than it should have the first time to figure that puzzle out. You get your halfway point, which is excellent. Nothing up there. If you come around here, you can find a hidden one up, which is excellent. Only a coin in there. One up me. Now that is a switch that you need to get out of this room. But if you go very quickly, like, I mean very quickly, you can hit a second switch, and the water will go even higher, only for a brief second. And using this brief second, you can get to a super secret exit. There's actually a coin, like right there, just to make the runway just a little longer, so you can get your one up. Super secret exit, and that is so nice. And that is what opens up the alternate exit. Now we can go on back in, and I'll just meet you back at the checkpoint. Moo. Moo! Okay, so I'm back. I'm gonna hit the button this time again, and this time instead of going up to the super secret ex exit, you just want to keep going straight forward. Hopefully you have another fire flower ready to go, because there's going to be a gigantic piranha here. Otherwise, you're going to have to time the jump over top of him. With the fire flower, you can get a whole bunch of coins. And here's the big problem. What's this coin? And I don't know if I can recreate this. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about you. This coin took me a long time to figure out to get. I think it was like five minutes or whatever. Now, did I just do this? Run it. Yep, that was it. Just a running jump to get in that coin. And I thought maybe I had to go from the top, maybe I had to duck, maybe I had to run up. Nope. It's very simple. One simple running. Hold on. Now that I've done all this, I'm kind of curious. In my last recording, I never went this way. What's over here? Oh, that's it. Over here is just some power-ups. Okay, so basically, I never went and checked that direction. Because I know the exit's up here, and I was just like, well... What the hell's the other way then? So you come up here to your sewers of Ninja Turtle sewers. And you want to hit the button, which makes that platform. Go around, jump, jump, doop, platform, platform, through. Look at that, isn't that amazing? And then you get your exit. Now, not as high as I hoped. <laughs> I hoped for better, but I failed. But it's still so nice. And now I've accomplished everything 
I set out to accomplish in the last episode, and I did it in six minutes. Maybe that's why LPUs practice. Hmm, it's possible. It's possible. But there was like no fail there. How is that like fun? You know? Recording. Recording. Oh my god, I almost got hit by the big freaking. Here we go. So we got a water level with a big fish. And the recording is going crazy. That's not always great. So coin number one is right here. And for my attempts, this is basically as far as I ever made it. I kept looking for coins in the air. There's coins in the air, but I never found the big coin in the air. So I kind of want to stay closer to the ground, see if I find anything this time. Another. No! That's not what we wanted! That's not good. Well, there's a coin. Damn it. Damn it! Oh, the stupid fish is gonna be the bane of my existence! Because you can't shoot very well once you're in the water. You can't jump out of the water very well. Well, at least we saved the first coin. Nope. Okay. I think I see coin number two. It's just gonna be getting to coin number two. It's gonna be the interesting situation here. Very carefully. Can I lower my body to this? Alright. Body's lower. I didn't realize he could do that while I was on the platform. Okay, get the coin, get the coin, get the coin, get the coin, 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 coin gun. Jumped. Interesting. I wanted to do that, I just didn't think I could. Coin number three, gotten. Wow. And another super secret. Exit! Da -da -doo -doo, da -da -doo -doo. Super secret entrance and a super secret level! I didn't even think I could make that jump, and yet I did. With all three coins nonetheless, opening our way to the cannon. Can you hear the cannon? Can you hear the cannon? Two and cannon. So what does cannon do? I think cannon's a warp zone. Let's check it out. World 5, it says. But we don't want that, so I think we can just leave. Can't we? No? No? We can't? We can't just leave? Can we? Oh. Oh, we can't, we can't just leave? No? Really? Okay, well, World 5, here we come then. <laughs> Warp Zone! To World 5! Wee! And... There he goes a running. He's still running, even in World 5. We will save it. Just cause we can. So we've opened World 5, skipping Worlds 3 and 4. But that's not cool. We're just gonna head right back to World 2. So we must... We must do it all. We must do all the things in all the levels in all the world. So let's head to 2 and 4. Alright. Recording. I swear to God, this recording. Okay, I'm back. After the recording went... Bat shit haywire. Hit this button, and the land increases, allowing you to get to the top there. Like, I've never had the recording go that crazy before. That was like a good minute and a half of just fluctuations, and I was actually getting really worried I wasn't going to be able to continue. But it seems to have calmed it down for now. Maybe we can continue on here. Boom. 
Okay. So here we go. Boom. Now the good thing that the cannon does, I like the cannon for one reason. It's an easy save. Oops. Wow. It's an easy save point. So I can go and get this metal here, and I'll show you after I defeat this level. At least I hope I defeat this level. Damn it! I really thought I was gonna get up there, but whatever. We're still fine. We're still fine. We're still fine. We're still good. Watch out for the plants. Don't let them eat you. Don't let them. Hey. Some coins over here. And a mini mushroom pipe. So if you were mini, you could run across the water and. Why'd I jump out right there? That was not smart. That was not smart. You could run right along the water there. It'd be fine. Hit. Give me my power up, please. Power me up. Power me up. Is there any more here? Hey, get out of here. Boom. No more power ups here. Whoops. Womp. Boom. Oh, I need the coin again. That's right. I need the coin again. Whoops! You jumped up and didn't collect. You didn't collect the coin, you dumbass. And then you get hit. Whoa! Goomba. Boom. Boom. Do you know what? It might be better just to take my my plant now and play it safe, right? I have it there for a reason, so let's use it. Alright, here we got a P-switch with a whole bunch of coins in the air. Whoops. Well, I'm not getting the rest of them, are I? Well, we got the 99. 99 coins. And I let the hundredth sink to the bottom there. Is there anything down here? It looked like there was headroom here, yeah. So what does this do? Pipe? No. Pipe? Yes. Water pipe. We've gone underground. Now some of you have told me, well at least I know one of you has told me, they would like the small screen move to the big screen, and that's a lot of work for like a few seconds here, but, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. That pushes things up here, which gets me, no, 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 if anything you didn't want to push that. Oh, now I don't even know where I am. Or how to go back. If there is a going back. Maybe there is no going back. I'm now in some super secret land that I never even considered being in. Well, definitely needed that. If we're going to jump up and over this. Okay, well, there's there's another coin. Ah, oh, the hammer! Well, we know where all the coins are now. But I hate a coin like that. That second coin is very annoying. Because now I know where it is, but there's no going back for it. Unless we start the level again. It is so nice. As we move on to the tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, to the tower, to the tower. You know what? I'm a stickler. We're heading back. Because I want that coin. I cannot leave this unfinished. This unfinished piece of work. Give me the flower. Plus, there seemed to be another direction we could have went in. 
this whole time, and we didn't. So that's going to leave me with some curiosity here, too. It's amazing how much easier this game is when you have a fire flower. How is he not eating me there? That was pretty unbelievable. Coins, okay. So we did not go this way. We went down the pipe way. What is this way? It's just back up there. You have to go the pipe way. Gotcha. If you want the coin, you have to go the pipe way. Alright. That's just back up to the mainland. Nobody wants that. Alright. Back to the underground. Coins. Hey. Hey, I can't resist a good coin. Could have chocolate inside. <laughs> Those chocolate coins. Oh, chocolate coins. It's so tempting to hit that right away. But don't. But don't. I learned my lesson. It's so tempting to hit it right away. Alright. We are now... Basically, we are now done here. We can kill that guy. Where's the next one? Kill that guy. Now we'll hit the button. Hey, Goomba. Get out of my way. Flying Goomba. He's a flying Goomba. From booby to booby. It's like a double camel. Double camel toe. Boom. And we are done here, boys. We're done here. Let's go. I'm done here, boys. It's just so nice. And because this will be ending our recording session, this warp is like the greatest thing that ever happened to me now. Because you can use the warp, even though you've used the warp before. Use it to go to World 5, which we've seen as the Ice World. I believe, in my memory, it will still ask you to save every single time, which is wonderful. Will it not? It won't. You fucker. It will not ask you to save. Well, there goes my trick for a quick save. Here I go. Here I go. Moo, okay, so I'm back. Uh, I was trying to say the tower might be a quick save way. Beat the tower again, and then you're all fine. Which is what my plan is right now. I'm just gonna run to the top. But anyways, you guys probably don't need to see this, right? I'm just gonna save, and we're gonna end the recording session. So until next time, everybody, I have been Cows Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, come on, open up. Move!